Okay, here I am reading my own cards. So I did a yearly spread for myself for uh, romantic relationships because I am single. Um, I can't really say that I'm single and looking. My, my looking has become very sporadic, let's just say that. Um, but I thought I would do this and put it out there for the curious. Um, it's not looking real exciting, <laughs> like I said. Um, <clears throat> uh, I just have not been super enthusiastic about the project after a couple of years of mixed situations. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> mixed situations arising. Um, so what we have here is I did a 12 month, okay? Um, but it's not really 12 month. Uh, it's really just a progression. 12 cards with the idea of them each being one month. But I don't believe that things happen quite that neatly. And I could look at them as um, kind of predominant energies for a month. But my real inclination is to think of this as a process. The process and that will happen throughout this year. And I will even say that it ends in December. But that exactly where these influences land um, is up for grabs. Not something I'm going to say is hard and fast that something is going to happen in November, in December, or, or in March. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I am going to talk um, as though these things are happening in a specific month. Um, or a collection of things happening in a span of time, because sometimes things are kind of very interrelated. So let's take a look. So the first one we have is the Seven of Swords reversed. So um, I know what this is. <laughs> I know who this is. I know what this is. Um, and it's in the reversal, it is passing out. Now it could be the person is passing out. It could be the way they go about things is passing out. Um, and passing out, not as in losing consciousness, um, but uh, as in uh, exiting. So the Seven of Swords in this situation, a lot of times I think of swords as responsibilities. They can be um, cutting words or ideas. Um, But in this particular situation, I'm pretty sure it's indicating responsibilities. And um, the person here is <clears throat> carrying away five swords, so the majority of the responsibilities, and just and leaving behind the two. Okay, so for my relationship, what I see that as is if you look at a relationship as a responsibility then the two are being left behind. The relationship is not being addressed. He's looking back, but he's walking in the other direction. Um, <clears throat> and he's got all of his responsibilities. So somebody, and he can't take the other two. His hands are more than full with the um, blade ends in his hands. So he can't, I mean, he can't take on anymore. So he has to leave the two behind. So goodbye to that situation. Um, essentially somebody who doesn't have a time for relationships, which at my age is pretty common, whether it's a man or a woman, doesn't have time for the relationship, doesn't have room in their life um, with all of the responsibilities that they are carrying. So, so that's January. So then we hit February. And February just has a ton of communication, action, focused action. I have no idea what this is referring to. The Eight of Wands. 
It could very well be that I am going to be a little overwhelmed maybe with um, the tarot business that I'm starting and the communications that are going on and the planning there that, that I won't even have time to consider relationship stuff. Um, <clears throat> because when you see all of these wands together in the card, it almost looks like a barrier. And um, just like in the previous card, you've got too many responsibilities. Sometimes you've got too much else going on and you just don't have time to do the relationship seeking. But um, it does, it is normally a card associated with good news. So I don't know, maybe some good news will come. And the wands do represent passion. Um, although this particular card is not necessarily um, associated with passion, it's certainly not in the romantic sense. More about communication. So who knows, maybe there will be a lot of online flirting or something. <laughs> but it doesn't really go anywhere. Um, we have the Page of Swords for March. We have the Page of Swords reversed. And especially with the next card in April, we have... Um, the Two of Wands, I think that the Page of Swords reversed is like blocked communication. You know, there's kind of that, the Two of Wands in April is kind of like, well, where, where is, where is he? <laughs> where is the, you know, what happened? It's kind of looking out. The Two of Wands in April is usually a, um, a card where you're considering kind of going on an adventure that you know you're thinking of what your next outward venture is you're in a secure position and you're looking to expand your horizons kind of a thing thinking about it not yet acting and um, again the way the two cards interact that page of swords um, which is normally a messenger but kind of a one who's trying to prove himself kind of a thing. And so, and he's reversed. So I'm, I'm just thinking there's some kind of block in communication that leaves me a little bit wondering like, well, what's going on? Um, and that whole scenario is reinforced by the next card, which is in May, uh, which is the star reversed. So you, the star is normally associated with hope um, and it is reversed. And so losing hope, um, this is also a card of ecology. And so it could be that there's um, a poor give and take in a relationship that's not, you know, it's not working out because of that. But also, um, <clears throat> the it's a major arcana card. Are there any other ones here? Nope, that's it. Um, which is another indication that it's just not a, going to be a big year for me in the terms of romance. And so the, when they're reversed like this, the major arcana, they frequently refer to um, the previous card not being totally dealt with or resolved. And the card that comes previous to the star is the tower. And the tower is about um, a realization. It's about being struck by some insight. It can sometimes be an event, but it's more likely to be a new understanding um, that has you seeing things in a completely different way. So either I something dawns on me that is um, not happy and so the star is reversed or it could be that I am being really dense and I'm not catching on to something and that does happen 
um, or I'm resisting some kind of awareness or change that needs to occur. And, and so um, the star is also associated with healing, and so healing and hope um, cannot occur. So again, that realization in terms of, I just, I think in, in terms of the communication, the lack of communication, something isn't getting through, and whether it's because I'm being thick-skulled or there's poor communication, that's um, a matter of debate, and we'll have to see. And then, um, but I think that that, you know, not the star reversed is that the give and take there, the ecology of the situation is off, that um, poor give and take in a, whether it's give and take in communication or emotional give and take, some aspect of whatever's going on um, is a problem. It could even be that I want to act as in the two, but I'm not feeling healthy enough because I do have health problems. And uh, that is the stars, the uh, card of healing. So it could be that I encounter some health problems that um, flare ups or whatever that put everything on hold. And so I retreat. There's no mistaking the June card. That is your retreat, where you feel like you've had your battles and you go and you have a deep think and decide to, you know, you're looking for a new strategy, a new way of going about things. This is not working. And so a new way of going about things. That's the, the sword underneath the, the knight who is resting and contemplating his existence <clears throat> is a sword of strategy, a new strategy. And apparently something does come from that because then in July there is um, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, some people freak out when they see the Ace of Pentacles in a love reading and they think it means somebody's getting pregnant. Well, I'm past that. And I had all of that apparatus. Well, not all of it, but the most important part. <laughs> Um, extracted last year. So there won't be any pregnancies. Um, and the reason that they say that is because pentacles often represent seeds. Um, so the seed is something or a seed planted. Here um, I think it's a project. So I'm thinking about a different way of going about um, finding a partner maybe. It's not, uh, it's not a super exciting card here because, I mean, I even advise people when I see this kind of a thing coming up, but I say, you know, you're looking at finding a partner like a project and that's maybe not the best way to look at it. So I'm going to have to advise myself. That might not be the best way to look at it, Jennifer. Um, so much as to... kind of expand your own inner sense of love or self-love or that sort of thing is really um, a better way of going about it and then you kind of shine into the world but here we have the ace of pentacles so presumably I'm going to have some bright idea about a different way to go about a situation involving either a relationship or relationships in general And if it's a relationship that I'm in, I have to wonder why I'm in it because it sure is not looking very nourishing. But whatever this bright idea is, this new beginning, this new project in terms of life partner, um, it will not be fast. We have the, the Knight of Swords and it will not allow um, conflict so it's putting the swords away. 
as you see you have the knight of swords okay so that i'm pretty sure that this is all part of a set this ace of pentacles the knight of swords maybe the five of swords it might be something different um so it's kind of just say no to anybody who rushes in comes at me all excited no no tolerance for pushiness um and I myself will not be charging ahead. And that's true of Pentacles. The Pentacles energy is very stable, settled, watching something grow. And so no more air, fast stuff. This, the five, um, the next card which was July, August, September, that um, the other sword card there, the Five of Swords, indicates um, having done with any sort of sparring. If um, there's somebody I've been having disagreements with about either responsibilities or politics or the way things should go, it, I'm just going to say, mm -mm, it's got to be smooth and easier. I'm not doing it that's what it's going to be for those two months um however then we have in um october i'm still defensive about something because here's this person who has um created a boundary there feels that they're almost secure but is looking back suspiciously at these two things that are reversed and are supposed to be out of here so I'm not going to trust it maybe somebody's making promises that things are changing and I'm like oh yeah prove it to me buddy I'm not <laughs> there's I'm, I'm not believing it I still think that there's ground that needs to be um, ground that needs to be held or guarded and still guarded so I'm not going to trust my own strategy for whatever reason or, there's, or I'm just going to see that somehow this isn't working either um, and even though I'm talking about this I honest honestly I don't think I will be putting this much energy into relationships in the coming year I would be surprised um, so that even that nine of wands could even be a matter of, you know, I've got a new strategy and, you know, I'm just only, I'm not terribly enthusiastic about it. And I just decide, no, I'm going to keep the whole relationship thing at bay. I'm, I'm just not even going to go there. I mean, that could be what that nine of wands is. It's like, yeah, well... It's not feeling like the right time yet to engage that endeavor because I really, I do have a lot of, um, to me, a lot of positive things that I want to do um, in the coming year, um, especially getting the tarot business up and, and going and experimenting um, with all kinds of things in that regard and I'm really excited about that. Um, and so this stuff, it might be like, yeah, is it worth my time? Maybe not. Um, you know, it could be I need to be in a different place, really. Certainly that Nine of Wands. Again, it's not, it's not a card that, <laughs> it's not a card you really want to see in a relationship reading. <clears throat> but here's finally one that is. Finally. One that you do want to see in a relationship. So maybe in November or toward the end of the year. I'm not going to say, you know, could be October, November, December. Could even be um, September. Um, we have the Ace of Cups. Finally, a cup. No, no other cups in here. Those are the emotion kind of oriented. You know what we have here is we have three swords. Those are kind of conflict and mental activity. Oh, we have four swords and three wands. Wands are so-so. 
No, four. oh my gosh, how many swords? One, two, three, four, five, six swords. Just not, I'm just not in the right place for it. What can I say? <laughs> so, um, so we have the Ace of Cups finally. Finally, the wellspring of emotion, emotion overflowing, happiness. It is the seed or the conception. So it's um, um, kind of meeting somebody where there's a feeling of, um, hey, this could be something, you know? Um, and it's interesting to me, I'm just looking at the fact that it's coming under the star um, and so it could be that that lightning bolt that was supposed to hit me um, was actually somebody who was trying to flirt with me or make a romantic um, gesture or something and I was either clueless or just was not open to it um, that could be my tower hiding behind the star. But I don't think this is the same person. If, if it is, uh, I have to wonder why they would hang out through all those swords, but even swords reversed and the defensiveness and all of that. So, so we have the Ace of Cups. That is a new, a new opening your heart anew, opening your heart. So, there is, uh, there's hope for me yet. And, but then it's followed by the Queen of Swords. She's reversed. There are a couple different things. Um, she's facing that Ace of Cups. I would rather actually she were facing away from the Ace of Cups <laughs> because she is kind of ruthlessly objective. She's kind of the personification of the Justice card. Um, and I will totally admit to being the Queen of Swords and by golly, I love that sword sometimes. Um, but here, I'm not sure if she's like ready to cut that sword right out, or excuse me, cut that cup right out of that hand or um, if the reverse the verse, reverse queen of swords could mean that that is passing out it could mean that I'm, I'm letting go of judgment um, so it could mean that it could also mean I think of the queen of swords as um, a person who grants knighthood Okay, so you need to be worthy. You need to show that you are worthy of her favor when you come to her. So, you know, for people who have difficulty with attracting bad relationships, which happily that is not me, but um, that she can be a very good person to have in a love reading. Some people don't, don't have proper boundaries. She does. And for the most part, I do. But sometimes those boundaries are more like that Nine of Wands, um, which is not positive. It's, it's more defensive. So it could be, so this Queen of Swords reverse could be approval, you know, it could be finding somebody who um, meets a high standard. And so that the Queen of Swords is reversed, is willing to be more open and vulnerable. Um, it could be, um, but it could also be negative. It could also be that something that there's a beginning there with that Ace of Cups, but she holds the sword of truth. It could be that something is revealed and she strikes it down. It's like, uh, looked good there for a minute. Um, So time would have to tell on that one. Yeah, it could go either way. 
So there's the sketchy kind of really not very into the pursuit of relationships spread <laughs> for me for 2016. I'm going to do um, a variety of these spreads for me, not necessarily the 12. I don't uh, think that that's necessary for most things, but I but I am going to put up at least one more 2016, um, and these are just examples so you can see how they work. Um, and since I'm asking other people if they would like to have their reading done for free and put on YouTube, I thought, well, I should also be willing to do that. So there you go. There's my love reading for 2016. Feel free to make comments. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I guess I should just make clear, yes, if other people are interested in readings, um, any kind of reading, not this particular kind, and are willing to have them publicly placed on YouTube, I will do them for free. At this point, I am, I am doing that. Alrighty, thanks so much for stopping by and listening. Bye-bye.